Current earnings from the tourism sector stands at about 800 million United States dollars, even with a host of factors such as low promotion into the Western markets, poor road networks, unlimited accommodation facilities as impediments. Now government says it will seek to take advantage of the major partners under the East African Community Block with advanced tourism industries to promote growth according to the line minister. One thing in Uganda will also be learning the marketing strategy from our neighbors. At the same time, we'll be pulling resources together to do that. But on the other hand, we think that because Uganda has got more to offer than the rest of the country, we think that we turned a better chance of saving on our marketing and earning more arrivals than we have been doing so far. Maria Mutagamba spoke after a meeting with two and travel operators from the United Kingdom currently visiting Uganda's facilities. And I think if the roads were improved in two or three places, and also I think that the other thing that could be improved is perhaps restocking some of the, the main game parks, uh, particularly the southern part of Murchison and parts of Queen Elizabeth. And relatedly, local tour operators are arguing that partnership with Western players would be able to leverage them also on the short run and as far as promoting the sector is concerned. A lot of people in the West have been thinking Uganda is an add-on destination. You know, you go to Tanzania and Kenya and add on Uganda. Now they think Uganda is a standalone destination, which is a very good thing. And as a company, we'll continue bringing such agents to Uganda to, to make sure they see our country and market it. According to the National Vision 2040, tourism is being touted as one among the crucial economic sectors that Uganda can leverage on to widen employment as well as expand on its foreign exchange earnings. Reina Urgen, NTV Business.